example of directional derivative we are already familiar with the definition of directional derivative let us recall the definition and then we will go for this example see directional derivative of f okay uh, at a in the direction of u so we write in this way du f of a we write in this way so its definition is limit limit t tends to 0 f of a plus t u minus f of a divided by t so this is the definition of directional derivative so this definition we have to use to solve this problem so let us find what are the given things we have a function so i will write first given function we have what is a function we have let me write it first f of x y z it is x y correct x y plus this y z plus z after that we need to have some point a what is a given point 0 0 0 so that means a is 0 0 0 and we want a vector in that direction we have to find the directional derivative so that vector is this u so u is equal to 1 minus 1 1 so see we will not directly go for a definition first of all we will find out few basic things and then we'll go for a definition so let us start to find a plus t u since we want a plus t u there so now a plus t u what is my a let me write it here it is 0 0 0 plus t what is u 1 minus 1 1 so this is equal to 0 0 0 plus see when i multiply any number uh, okay if i multiply any number any element of r3 by any number then we need to multiply to each component so what will happen if i multiply 1 into t t t into minus 1 minus t t into 1 t after that we have to add so that addition will be component wise so that's why 0 plus t we will have t 0 plus minus t minus t and here t so in this way we calculated a plus t u after that our task is to apply f on that so then then f of a plus t u so let us find out so this is f of a plus t u is simply we have got t minus t t so we have to find its value well, for that we need to focus on given definition of f what is it x y plus y z plus z here x is t correct y is minus t okay and z is t so let us put those values here and find out tell me what will you have here x into y that means t into minus t will have minus t square correct y into z so minus t into t minus t square and z z is t so that means here we have minus 2t square plus t correct so in this way we calculated f of a plus t u after that we should calculate f of a also now f of a is equal to f of a what is value of a a is 0 0 0 0 0 0 so x y and z all of them are 0 if i follow the definition but here x y z all of them are 0 so 0 into 0 0 here also 0 0 if you add zeros we will have 0 so in this way i got f of a also so let us find directional derivative now then directional derivative directional derivative okay just minute let me write it is equal to du f of a so same definition i am going to write here okay let me remove this definition okay tell me what is this definition this is equal to limit t tends to 0 correct f of a plus t u minus f of a divided by t so this is equal to limit t tends to 0 what is value of f of t u f of t u we have calculated it is minus 2t square plus t what is value of f of a we have got it is 0 so minus 0 divided by t so you know that if you subtract 0 you will have same see uh, can you tell me what i have to do i will divide separately what will happen if i divide separately 2t square upon t tt will get cancelled so we'll have minus 2t if you divide tt will get cancelled we will have 1 so let us apply the limit i'm putting t is equal to 0 
if i put t is equal to 0 we will have 0 plus 1 is there 1 is constant so we'll have 1 only so 1 is a required directional derivative you can make a screenshot of it and after that we will solve one more problem huh please make a screenshot of it okay so let us solve this example so in this example you can see on a board so function is same just points are different a and u are different so most of the things will be same simply some calculations will be different so let me write first the given things what we have we have we have a function right what is the function f of x y z same function we have that is x y plus y z plus z so at a particular point we have to find the derivative so that point is given here 1 0 1 okay so 1 0 1 and a third important thing which we want that is a direction in a vector in which direction we have to find directional derivative that vector is minus 2 1 0 so it is minus 2 1 0 then then as you have already seen in our previous example for we do not directly go for a definition first we can find out some basic things okay after that we go for a definition so as uh, i will try here a plus tu i will find a, a plus tu then they will go for definition so a plus tu what is our a 1 0 1 plus t u is minus 2 1 0 tell me what we do first first we do this multiplication getting so that means i need to multiply each each component by this t so we'll have minus 2t t into 1t t into 0 0 we need to add them so the addition is component wise so 1 minus 2t 0 plus t t 1 plus 0 1 so we got a plus t u after that we will apply function on that okay then let us find f of a plus t u so this is equal to f of 1 minus 2 t t 1 so maybe in this case problem will be little bit complicated since we have 1 minus 2 t t and 1 getting so see now we have to apply this definition but as you can see here what we do here we take first we take product of first two components then we take product of last two components and then we add last component so our x is 1 minus 2 t our y is t and our z is 1 so let us apply the definition and find its value so this is equal to x into y so that means here 1 minus 2 t into t plus plus y into z that means here t into 1 t plus z z is 1 getting plus 1 so let us multiply first t minus 2t square plus t plus 1 if you add minus 2t square t plus t we will have 2t plus 1 so in this way we calculated f of a plus t u so our next task is to find f of a so now let us find f of a what is my a here my a is 1 0 1 so my a is 1 0 1 so let us apply the same definition again x into y so that means 1 into 0 0 plus y into z y into z so this is 0 into 1 0 plus z here our z is 1 so 1 so we have it is 1 getting so sir, both things are ready so now we are uh, we can use now definition of directional derivative then directional derivative okay i will write directional derivative is equal to directional derivative is equal to we denote it by du f of a okay is equal to see we will apply the definition limit t tends to 0 f of a plus t u minus f of a divided by t so this is equal to limit t tends to 0 f of a plus t u we have calculated it f of a plus t u value is this one so let me put that value there so minus 2t square plus 2t plus 1 minus f of a what we have got f of a is 1 so let us put 1 there 1 divided by t tell me can we can we cancel anything here yeah definitely we can cancel 
this plus one and minus one will get cancelled to each other. So that's why we will have. So see, I will write here limit t tends to zero minus two t square plus two t divided by two. So what will I do? Uh, we will divide separately. So minus two t square upon t one t will get cancelled. So that means we will have minus two t plus if you divide two t by t t t will get cancelled and simply we will have two. So when you apply the limit, what is our limit? T tends to zero. That means I'm going to put t is equal to zero. If I put t is equal to zero, zero into minus two, we will have zero and plus this two. So answer is two. So that's why the required directional derivative is two. So in this way, we have finished this example. So you can make a screenshot of it, and after that, we will stop. Thank you. Bye bye.